Welcome everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how to enable SNMP service in your machine and how to perform a simple SNMP walk. So let's get started. First of all, you need to open your control panel. In the control panel, you need to find program and features click on it so in here you can see turn windows features on or off in here you need to find simple network management protocol and you need to click on it in my case i can't find it in here so i need to install it manually to my computer to do that one right click on the start menu Go to Apps and Features. Okay, in the Apps and Features, you can see optional features. Click on it. In here, you can see Add a feature. In the list, you need to find simple network management protocol click on install button okay when you go back you need to see the progress okay it is not listed in here so there is some error we need to go up and click on see optional features history and you can see that install failed okay my network connection is needed uh, so i need to go to my network connection properties and in there i need to turn off my metered connections that is the problem so again i need to go to apps and features optional features add a feature find snmp simple network management protocol and click on install and when we go back we can see installation is in progress and this may take a while depending on your machine performance and on your internet connection after the installation finish you can see that simple network management protocol is listed in our optional features okay now we need to open run and we need to open our services to do that one you need to type services.msc and press okay in the services window you need to locate SNMP services. Okay, right click on the SNMP service. and go to properties and in SNMP service properties window you can see that a menu called security and in there under accepted community names you need to click add Uh, 
for the community name i am going to give it as snmp community rights it is read only and click on add and after that one you need to click on apply go to traps type the previous community name that you have created that is SNMP and add to list then click ok and apply but make sure your community name is listed in the drop down okay after that one you need to open command prompt and you need to type ip config to get the ip configuration of your machine and in here you can see your ipv4 address you need to copy that one and you need to navigate to this address it is given in the video description go to snmp soft tools and in there you can see snmp walk command line tool click on it you can see the download button you need to download it after that one you need to extract the downloaded file You can see that there are two files, one is snmpwalk.exe, other one is readme.txt. In the readme.txt file, you can see the documentation about snmpwalk. Okay, the configuration is almost over. Now we can perform a snmpwalk. To do that one, you need to open your command prompt. And you need to navigate to the file folder which contains our SNMP exe file. Copy the file location and Type cd space paste your location and press enter ok now you are in that directory and you need to type this code snmpwalk.exe minus r colon in here you need to type your ip address After that one, minus P colon 161, that is your port number, minus V colon 2C, that is your port number.
that is the version that you are using minus c colon snmp that is the community name that you have created earlier and output.txt to print the output and press enter okay now you need to open the file location you can see that output.txt file is created open that one and you can see there is an error fail to get value of snmp variable timeout so you need to fix that one to do that one open your services In the service list, you need to locate SNMP service. Right click on it, properties. And in the security, you can see that there's an option called accept SNMP packets from any host. Select that one, click on apply, OK and again go back to the terminal and run the code again go to the file open the output.txt file ok you have got the output to the text file Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.